Okay. In a very short answer, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, إِنَّ اللَّهَ عِنْدَهُ عِلْمُ السَّاعَةِ وَيُنَزِّلُ الْغَيْثَ وَيَعْلَمُ مَا فِي الْأَرْحَامِ The ayah by the end of Surah Luqman, which we quoted repeatedly, there are five uh, sorts of knowledge of the unseen that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preserved for himself. On top of them is the knowledge of the hour or the day of judgment, as when will it take place and okay. In the second hadith from Jibreel alayhi salam, Angel Gabriel, as Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi salam about Islam, Iman, Ihsan, he finally said, فَأَخْبِرْنِي عَنِ السَّاعَةِ Tell me about the hour, the time of the day of judgment. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi salam said, مَا الْمَسْؤُولُ عَنْهَا بِأَعْلَمَ مِنَ السَّائِلِ the one who's been questioned about it knows no better than the questioner himself. And the companions who were sitting did not know that the questioner was Angel Gabriel himself. So when the Prophet ﷺ says, I don't know, it's understood. But when he tells the questioner, I do not have any better knowledge than you, then the questioner may be uh, a big shot or somebody who may have a, a greater access to further more knowledge than the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and indeed it was Jibreel alayhi salam. So neither the Prophet or the Prophets nor any angels have any clue about the timing for the Day of Judgment. So let people predict. They have been predicting since the time of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Not only that, even with the Prophets before uh, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and the Quran quoted many. Uh, Questions, whether being asked as uh, sarcastic questions, mockery questions. وَيَقُولُونَ مَتَى هَذَا الْوَعْدُ إِن كُنْتُمْ صَادِقِينَ When is it? When is this promise or threat if you are telling the truth? For instance, in Surah Al-Mulk, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, قُلْ إِنَّمَا الْعِلْمُ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ وَإِنَّمَا أَنَا نَذِيرٌ مُّبِينَ Say its knowledge is with Allah, and I'm just a plain warner. I can tell you it's signs, as the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, when Jibreel alaihi salam delivered the second question pertaining a sa'a or the hour, the day of judgment. He said, "فَأَخْبِرْنِي عَنْ أَمَارَاتِهَا." Then, if you cannot tell me the timing, then at least tell me about its signs. And we have a full reference pertaining the signs of the day of judgment, divided into minor signs and major signs. Minor signs. Uh, many things since the prophethood of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. As a matter of fact, the prophethood of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was a sign of approaching the last time or the hour or the day of judgment. He said sallallahu alaihi wasallam, I have been appointed as a prophet and approaching the day of judgment are like these two. Yeah. Maybe a thousand, two thousand, three thousand, but it's nothing compared to the lifespan of humanity at large or the world. So anyway, there are minor and major signs, but no one whatsoever, not only knows about the timing of the Day of Judgment, take this. وَمَا تَدْرِي نَفْسٌ مَاذَا تَكْسِبُ غَدَا وَمَا تَدْرِي نَفْسٌ بِأَيَّ أَرْضٍ تَمُوتٍ No soul knows what will it earn tomorrow. Earning not necessarily profit or making money, but provision, life, death, calamities, happiness, joy and delight, you name it. No one is certain what's going to happen tomorrow. If somebody says, I'm going to San Diego tomorrow and I will meet you in Orange County afternoon, I will be doing this and this and that. These are all plans. <laughs> Maybe you will never be able to get to do any of that. And that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala taught us in the Quran when he addressed the Prophet sallallahu in Surah Al-Kahf by saying, وَلَا تَقُولَنَّ لِشَيْءٍ إِنِّي فَاعِلٌ ذَلِكَ غَدَىٰ إِلَّا أَنْ يَشَاءَ اللَّهِ ذِنْ وَذْكُرْ رَبَّكَ إِذَا نسيت. Guess what? Even near hoping, saying a statement that I will certainly meet you tomorrow. You can't say that. Rather, you should say, God willing. Insha'Allah. Hopefully, I will do my best because you never know whether you'll be able to leave your seat or not. 
there was a journalist who was defending the criminal Syrian regime and he was live on air and he's talking about basically um, how the Syrian regime is doing the best for the country and so on, the criminal regime. Then all of a sudden he had a heart attack and he dropped dead in front of millions of people. If this person would ever know before death that he would die in this terrible condition, defending, defending the oppressors, this is happening and it's available on the YouTube. I don't think he would do that. I don't think if he ever believed there would be a day of judgment, accountability, reckoning, hisab, يعني Allah will ask him, why did you do that? And why didn't you do that? I don't think he would ever dare if he believes that right after death, his own day of judgment would begin. إذا قام إذا مات الميت قامت قيامته His reckoning will begin until the day of judgment which is the major reckoning, the major hisab. On the other hand, there is a marvelous video on the YouTube as well. I've seen uh, an honorable sheikh who was delivering a sermon in a wedding. And he was speaking about Prophet Moses. Then he dropped that. Look at the end. Look how he ended up his life. Speaking about Allah, his book, his messengers, in the masjid, in a state of tahara, while somebody dies in a miserable condition, disobeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, maybe drinking, maybe taking drugs, maybe stealing, maybe oppressing others, were very weak brothers and sisters. Wallahi, wallahi, wa khuliqa al-insan mudha'ifa. All mankind, not only one single mankind, all of us are very weak. Remember here, Cain, Sandy, and before Katrina, Arita, were very vulnerable. Were very vulnerable. You hear about uh, a big shot who have tortured a lot of people, who have hurt maybe tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of people. And all of a sudden, we hear about his death due to an unknown reason. An unknown virus hit him. He had some stomachic or common cold or flu. Then he died. What happened to him? What happened is his term is over. He did not know that he's going to die now. Each one of us plan, we plan, we plan forever, like we're living eternally. Then the smart person is the one who keeps balance. I don't really care. One of the Salaf said, By Allah, if I know for sure that the Day of Judgment will be established right now, I have nothing better to do. Which means what? Which means that he's been doing his best whether the Day of Judgment will be established right now, tomorrow, next year. He has tried his utmost. He's trying to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He purified his intention. He fulfilled what Allah ordered him to do. And he abstained from every prohibition. Can we keep balance between the dunya and al-akhirah? If we can do so, then it doesn't really matter when the Day of Judgment <coughs> will take place. Excuse me.